today I'm going to show you how to make reusable Christmas snack. Today I'm going to share with you how to make reusable Christmas crackers. You can insert your own toys, hats, snack poles. To open them you simply undo the ribbon and shake your gifts out or your Christmas pull. So to start with you're going to need some toilet rolls and some fabric. So you're going to measure your toilet roll all the way around to get your circumference. So mine is 14 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to add three centimetres as my seam allowance, making it 17 and a half and half a centimetre for a bit of wriggle room, making my width of my fabric 18 centimetres here. As you can see I've already cut it out. Um, and the length is 37 centimetres. So I've got a nice Christmassy fabric. I've also got two types of ribbon. I've got one for my bows and I've got one to go on the edge of my cracker just to chuff it up fractionally. So the first thing you're going to do once you cut your fabric out is zigzag all round your raw edges. So let's do that. So now we've uh, neatened our raw edges, we're going to turn in half a centimetre the um, ends of the cracker and give it a good press along here. So I've got my pressed ends, I'm going to turn the fabric over to the right side and I'm going to cut some ribbon and hold it in place. Some clips. I'm going to stitch this ribbon in place which will finish the ends of our cracker and um, capture the folded edge of the fabric as well at the same time and hold that pressed seam in place. Ribbon can be a bit slippery so it's worth Taking a minute just to put some clips or pins in and make your sewing a bit easier. Right, let's sew that in place. Getting there. The next thing you're going to need is your ribbon for your bow. I am cutting about 33 centimetres per side. You're going to need two pieces. This ribbon is six millimetres wide. So we're going to fold this in half. We've got a loop, a fold, and we're going to place the fold nine centimetres from the end of the cracker and just pin that in place. And repeat. So I've folded my ribbon in half. 
and I'm placing it nine centimeters from the end. If you want, you can base that, but I'm just going to use pins to hold it. The next step is to fold your fabric in half, right sides facing each other. Create your tube for your cracker. And I'm going to stitch that seam at one and a half centimetre seam allowance. your cracker right side out. I'm just going to press that seam allowance open. So I've pressed it open. I'm just going to turn my cracker right sides out. When you stitch that seam allowance do make sure you don't catch the ribbon accidentally. Make sure you've folded it neatly out of the way. Right. So the last thing to do is to insert your toilet roll. Should fit snugly but hopefully not too tightly. Place the toilet roll centrally between your two pieces of ribbon. Now's the time to insert Christmas crackers, any Christmas jokes, little gifts, Christmas hats, and then simply tie your ribbon. reusable year by year Christmas cracker. Enjoy making them. Obviously you can embellish them as much or as little as you like. I've bought sparkly fabric and sparkly ribbon. You could buy little motifs, little embroidered pieces to go on the centre of your cracker. Each one a little different so you can tell whose cracker's whose. Personally I'm going to stuff a little bit of paper in each end when I stuff them so I know that um, whose cracker is whose. I'm just going to stick a name in the edge here and then when I lay the table I know which cracker to put or which place setting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe below.